Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmett, and today I'm doing a bit more hiking uh, to explore this area. I think there's supposed to be a, another waterfall in there, and you guys know that I love photographing waterfalls. <laughs> of a small wildlife area and so I have I think the entire place to myself there were no other cars in the lot here and uh, that's really nice when you're a photographer to not have a lot of other people around and to just completely have that freedom to do your photography make your art um, without anyone watching you or getting in your way now I have gotten some questions on this channel about um, the locations of my photo shoots and that is why um, I've given those people kind of vague answers um, is because I tend to go to places like this that are small wildlife areas that if this video were to get really big um, and people wanted to go there wouldn't really be able to support the kind of traffic that um, you know all of those people coming to the area would produce but I would encourage you guys not to try to seek out necessarily the locations that other photographers have been to, but to try to seek out locations like this in your area, small wildlife areas where you can go and have a great time and take some great pictures and, um, you know, be left alone in nature for a while um, because really it's not so much necessarily a particular location unless it's some really famous spot um, that's going to make a really cool picture, right? It's what you do with the locations that you have around you that really matters to your artwork. And even if there is a famous spot, the picture that you get there is going to look pretty much like everybody else's. Um, so it's a cool experience to go there, but it's not nearly as unique as the smaller places that you might find in your backyard. So I just wanted to show you guys, one, obviously the waterfall, but two, my little bit of a dilemma right now, uh, which is that I'm not sure how to get down to some place where I can get a good photo of it. There's quite a bit of a gorge here. This looks like a little bit of a pathway, but it's not super well maintained. It might be a little bit of a scramble, but I might be able to make my way down the bank there. Um, so I'm just gonna have to try to get down there and get all my equipment down there without <laughs> falling in or anything. It's a gorgeous looking waterfall though, so I'm really hoping I can get some good pictures of it if I can get positioned properly. There. All right, this ground looks a little more solid here. There's some rocks to step on, and then I can get, oh, the mic's in the way. I can get right out there. I should be able to see the fall. But it's been a real struggle to get down this. Oh man, I made it. Whew. So, If I can draw your attention away from the waterfall for just a second, that is the slope I just came down. <laughs> so, sorry for not filming that better for you guys. Uh, usually I set up a camera and film myself trying to go someplace, but that is a one-way trip. I am not, I came down it and I'll go back up it, but I'm not taking any extra steps to film it. But here is the waterfall, which looks beautiful. There's some kind of fall leaves around it as well. So definitely think I can get some great shots of that. I think it was worth coming down the slope. It was worth it since I didn't fall at least. <laughs> You 
guys might notice that I have the tendency when I'm taking pictures of something to walk up and uh, start shooting pictures where the trail ends. And um, that isn't to say that you should always necessarily shoot from the path. Um, you know, obviously if you're allowed to go off of the path, you should explore your scene. Um, you should explore different areas up and down the path if you can't go up it and so forth. Um, but th that's just to say that I think for me that's a good place to um, start off with some pictures, get familiar, get more comfortable with what's around, and then explore from there. So in this scene right here, um, I'm liking the way the waterfall looks, I'm loving the way the waterfall looks, but I'm feeling that there could be um, a lack of foreground from the dry, convenient area here. I'm gonna try to go out onto the water there a little bit. It might be a bit slippery, so I have to be careful with it. Um, but you know, I've been standing here for a few minutes. It doesn't look like it's gonna wash me downstream. Um, and so, kind of, find a dry foothold there and explore that possibility. So here's the scene right now. Um, I've put my camera down real low right here, opened up the tripod legs like that, um, and got it down real close to the water. And what that does is it just makes the foreground in the image look a lot larger. Um, and kind of moves the waterfall to the back a little bit. I think that's kind of a neat effect um, and just gives the picture a little bit more interest. Now a technique that I used um, to set this up was just to take the camera off of the tripod and hold it down, uh, down in this area here where I wanted to get the photograph from um, to make sure that I liked the way that the photo was looking um, from that angle. And then once I had determined that I liked the way that that looked, then I went ahead and set up the tripod, because there's a lot of different things that you've got to screw and unscrew and so forth to put your tripod in the right spot. And so it's easiest just to handhold the camera there, make sure that you like that composition, and then set the tripod there. Setting up the tripod though, of course, gives me the opportunity to do a longer shutter speed here, which just makes the waterfall look nice and smooth in the picture in a way that um, is just very pleasing, really more pleasing than the crashing water. Um, it's just very pleasing to have that nice smooth looking effect. So I was about to leave because honestly I'm getting kind of hungry. Um, but I wanted to walk down this direction first and I just walked down here and it's amazing down here so definitely gonna have to stay. <laughs> you have to kind of pick your way down a bit carefully on this first section because it's slippery. But look at this gnarly tree. Step down here. And then look how pretty there. And then if we turn around and look back up toward the fall, look at that. Look how beautiful it looks from down here. This sort of rapid area that I was looking at from up there really just melds in as part of the waterfall. And those orange trees line up along the side of it. And then I decided to walk down this direction further. Look how incredible 
the this looks here as well. Some gorgeous scenes available still to photograph here. So I'm definitely going to stick around a little bit longer, but I might get a snack first. Because I'm hungry. I really am. I think I have food in my bag. wondering why I left the arm out on the tripod. Funny you snap. Uh, the answer to that would be that my hands have got too cold because it's a bit chilly out here. I can't get the screw to dirt. So I decided, you know what, I like having this arm out. So it's just going to be that way the rest of the photo now if you have the time available to you on a photo shoot and you can spend a lot of time at a scene, uh, oftentimes if it's sort of a partly cloudy day, uh, clouds will come and go and move across and so you can catch a lot of different types of light on the scene uh, which really can make it look a lot different just over the course of even several minutes and certainly over the course of 20 minutes or a half an hour, um, the scene can change a little bit so you can kind of stand around capture it on a whole bunch of different uh, lighting and then look at those on your computer or whatever and pick out the ones that you like the best. So that's kind of what's happened over the last few minutes here. It started out kind of completely covered in clouds and then some sun came out and so I tried some different things. I'm also using a highlight weighted metering um, and the aperture priority mode for this. Um, I lay weighted because I don't want the sky to be too blown out. I seem to still be able to see the foreground all right, um, and I can always brighten that up later much more easily than I can fix highlights. And then aperture priority mode, uh, just so that I can turn the aperture way down and get kind of a long shutter speed there. I pretty much pulled the aperture all the way down uh, to enable me to get a long shutter speed, but it'll adjust the shutter speed a little bit as the sun comes and goes for me. So I don't have to be in manual mode trying to catch up with the sun and uh, get the right exposure each time that it changes. Near to my house, um, 
but it's not entirely infeasible to come back here again either. Um, it's a gorgeous place and I might be interested to see it in a few different seasons. Um, and yeah, but I really love the fall leaves that are here today. It's really kind of magical. Um, and so I'm just loving the, the opportunity to see that. Fall is not a season that I used to like when I was younger. Um, everything was kind of dying and getting cold, and as a child that loves playing outside in the summertime, uh, that's just, you know, it's sad and depressing, I guess. Um, but as an adult and as a photographer, um, I think that I see things a little bit differently now, you know, I see it as a lovely opportunity to take some pictures and yes it is colder um, but most of the time I'm not running around in the yard anyways I'm usually inside of the desk um, and so it's a nice opportunity to get out and to take some pictures of some really neat colors. So with that I'm gonna pack up my kit and head out. I think I might have found a little bit easier pathway to get out of here than the one I came down that's hopefully a bit less hazardous because I really don't want to uh, slip and fall out here. So that is going to be all for this video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button on your way out and to subscribe to the channel down below so you don't miss more of my future landscape photography videos, some gear reviews, and some creative lifestyle things. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. coming down the other way because when you film yourself going someplace you gotta come back to get your video camera.